Now, you've got unlimited funds, Gerard, as we know. I wish I had. Brothers, I wish I had, my man. But one question for you. If you had unlimited funds, which I must say you do have, <laughs> um, what rod would you buy in the store? In the shop? Yeah. Well, we... I've talked about quite a lot of rods, haven't we, that we stock in store. Yeah. And they all serve a purpose. Yeah? Yeah. So whether it's the rods ranging from 35 quid, uh, in little 10 foots, uh, your witch woods, or going into your Sonics, or your Nashes, or your Foxes, or whatever rods. If I wanted an all round rod, I'm not because I'm not bad at casting, brothers. I'm only small, but I can punch a lead. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can punch a lead, but I reach a peak. I reach a peak that I can't really get over. You know what I mean? So 23 it, yard. 23 yard. <laughs> so it would be nice to have a rod that benefited me for closer range, but saying if I wanted to go that bit further, 24 yard, 24 yard, I'd, this would give me more chance to do it, this rod, because this rod is built for this purpose, mate. So you've got one in mind that you do like? I've got one in mind, yeah. Which one is it? Well, in store, it would be the Free Spirit 12 foot, Three and a half pound ISIV ER. Wow. Let's take a look. And we had these specially designed for us in store, Bradders, didn't we? we because did, we had a few yeah. tweaks done to them, didn't we? We did. So, let me get the rod and show you. Might take him a few weeks here. There's a few rods to go through. There's a few rods here. This is the rod I would go for, Bradders. Can you see that, mate? And when you say we've had it designed for us here, the difference between everyone else's and ours is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Ours has got green whipping. Uh, we have had it green whipping, yeah, for Wickersley, for Wickersley angling. Yeah. And you've got a little isotope in there, haven't you? Yeah, a little isotope. And then obviously we picked the handles which we wanted because obviously you can get different handles so we've gone for where well, you can get dual plong cork uh, shrink um, uh, abbreviated so there's various and angles that you can get for your rods obviously you've got your S like K guys beautiful guides then mate absolutely beautiful guides minima and, guides and the way that sits is this designed for casting yes 100% Brad yeah. That yeah. line will just, and it's got your S like K guys going all the way through it. Can you all the way through. So four, uh, 50s, 40s, all the way through. But this rod, Brad, right, the ESIV, uh, ESIV ER, ER stands for, do you know? No, but um, um, I like knowledge. <laughs> extreme range. A lot of people think it's extra response, which it, 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 they are very responsive, but it's extreme range. Now, this one, I mean, to say it's a powerful rod, Brad, and you, you can actually feel this power in blank, mate. Finished off in a 1K weave, 40 ton carbon, um, and these have only got 3% resin on. So you know the glue that holds the carbon together? Yeah. There's only 3% where other rods on market can go up to about 30%, and this is what makes it streamline and light. But, as you can see, Everybody comes in a shop and everybody really, realistically wants to cast distance, cast further. But this is quite a special rod because what they've done is they've put all the power. It's not a poker by far. This is not a poker. It don't feel like a poker rod. This one is very streamlined. You can feel the power in this butt section. So if you are leaning into a cast, mate, you can feel it. But it's quite, it's quite good how they've done it because the tip... The, the the top section is very responsive. It's tippy. Yeah. So if you can use this closer in, Brad. So, so, so when we refer to tippy, what we're trying to say is it, it's soft. It's a soft, a nice tip action. It, it's a nice tip action, so it doesn't physically... When you refer to things to pokey, you know what I mean? Stiff. Stiff, yes. Yeah. That's very good, Brad. Anybody who think you've been in this trade for quite a long time. Two weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been in it a long time, mate. But... 
Um, what they designed this rod for is, um, because obviously this is the newest range, this is the newest model to the range, the ER. They were getting asked a lot, I want a rod that's quite tippy, but punching a lead. So what they've said is, this, if you're using bags, you need to lean into it more than if you're casting a normal lead. Do you know? Yeah. Or vice versa, or if you're fishing in weed or anything like that, mate, or pu pulling fish through weed. You need that rod where it's got that strength and but that tip action, so you're just not going to pull off it or bump it off. Now, with this one, what they've said is, this is for distances from 70 yards up to 150. Comfortable by standard anglers. Not tournament casters, standard anglers like me, you, Lee. Well, obviously, they're just like normal anglers, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um... But in the right hands, this can do distances of over 180 yards, mate. No problem whatsoever. It's a nice cast, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's a fair old distance, mate. I've actually seen some of my mates can actually do it, and you're like, bloody hell, how did they do that? Do you know what I mean? Definitely technique, isn't it? It's definitely technique, definitely mate. Definitely technique. Because I've, I've, seen, I've seen small lads do big casts. Uh, well, I, I've seen skinny, skinny, skinny lads cast further than like bodybuilders do you yeah, know what I mean and yeah, it's, definitely it's just technique, technique. Yeah. I mean it's like Mark Hutchinson's technique is different to Terry Edmonds technique yeah. but they can both cast over 200 yards mate do you know what I mean yeah. and obviously Uchi uses these rods to cast that distance so if I were going for this one mate this would they're not cheap Brad as are they what we're talking for, for for a single rod how much are we talking for that one these are about just over 500 quid mate right so they're not they're not cheap but like anything you do get what you pay for. you do get what you pay yeah. for and and like i said they're very very streamlined this 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 part joe this is where we get eminent comments saying i won't pay 500 pound for a rod <laughs> we can't win really can no. we we can't win no. so whatever we do we just get we get hammered anyway but <laughs> we are only giving you our honest opinion and our advice on choose whatever we do with filming <laughs> but if i was if, if you said if, if you money, said to if me there's no object if money's no object and you want an all-round rod which is going to last you probably the rest of your life yeah yeah definitely. and these are all anti-scratch blanks as well well i think the word the term used is perdura perdurable so that just means anti-scratch blanks yeah um i'd have three of them mate because that would cover everything I needed for any of my fishing, and hopefully it to put a few yards on my cast mate as well. Definitely. So, in store, we've got uh, the CTX rods, which are just 100 quid free spirits. We've got the Helicals, which again, just over 100 quid. We've got the ISIVs, IS, IS, ISIV, and the daddy of the bunch, the ISIV ER, which would be my choice in store. 